I have come back with a new video review for our Eleco LE2 devices which is currently running on Android 10. Yes, Android 10 is booted for our Eleco LE2. First, it was uh, booted by Akash Bro uh, with Aero 10 ROM. So currently there are two ROM, Aero 10 and Pixel Experience. So right now I have installed Pixel Experience ROM. So that FP issue, fingerprint issue has been fixed and random reboot is not there. So this build is quite stable for using it as, as a daily driver. So let's review this ROM first. So before continuing, I would like to say thanks and appreciate all our developers and testers are engaged with this LE2 uh, Android 10 uh, development. So currently there are four developers, Akash Pro, Nalbai Brother, uh, Ivol Fram and Sammy Brother. All these devs are working very hard to make this available for our LE2. And of course, RK Brother is also there for support. And few testers like, uh, I will mention their names in this uh, description. You can connect with them in Telegram. So this ROM is uh, in beta stage and private build. So the download link will not be shared as of now. So I will make this uh, download links available once that developer make it uh, available for public. And once final build is released. So let me show you that setting screen first. So here is a setting screen. There is no special custom function is available. Uh, since this is a stock UI based ROM, uh, stock similar to stock experience you will get. And there is no customization is available so wi-fi bluetooth calling everything is working torch i am able to toggle and it's working fine night light working very fine screen casting means screen mirroring i have not checked because i don't have any smart tv to connect it and g i have a geo devices there geo wi-fi let me connect it to my geo wi-fi I have removed my uh, geo sim and inserted inside the phone to make uh, voltage calling so that's why it is showing no internet so wi-fi is working fine i have checked bluetooth i also able to connect with my samsung level device which is working fine just one more thing uh, if bluetooth the device is not working perfectly for you so you go to this connected devices screen and go to this device particular device setting option and disable this HD audio wala button so this will perfectly work uh, work your uh, bluetooth device for calling and uh, music playing everything so all these options are same as previous old nothing new battery you can see battery consumption is here i have used the screen around two hours and eight minutes so it will it has take 15 percent of battery so it is around four and a half hours of SOT we will get depending on how what type of apps you are using and then go to storage section storage section system is take, taking 7.3 gb or 7.5 gb approx depending on the, your file size and uh, app size so this, this is which is similar to your previous android 9 based rom under the security screen you can set fingerprint pattern as well as finger uh, password based uh, lock face function for your phone so right now i have tested this fingerprint which is working perfectly fine and system is not crashing anymore which was there in previous builds so this is almost a stable beta build which we can use as a daily driver so there was system gesture function is there i have enabled this gesture navigation which is available for cust android 10 based rom so let me show you here it is working fine so let me show you that about screen first so you can see android version is 10 android security patch is 5 october 2019 dated latest one baseband although showing is unknown but everything is working fine there is some display issue with this uh, android version screen so that will be fixed in upcoming builds kernel is stock kernel is there there is no custom kernel available right now and this rom build date is 12th october 2019 the latest one now my gsk is working fine you can see i have installed that uh, my gsk version 20 which was latest as well as this 
safety net also working fine so your play store will display your devices certified now let me show you that camera this is the stock camera which is working fine now let me switch to your front camera which is also working fine and camera switching is very smooth and fast so let me show you with gcam i am using that gcam modded version build 14 so you can see picture quality is also very good quite good i have checked video calling from uh, whatsapp and duo those are working fine now let me show you that messaging from geo app so i am using my geo sim to message my own number so message is sent from geo see message is received also so messaging is working now let me show you that calling See, there is a call drop issue is in geo fine so voice calling is working fine and this is our quick navigation panel you can customize by clicking this icon and add your own now go to home settings you can change the home settings from this screen but you cannot change the icon you have to use any custom launcher for that since this is a stock pixel launcher now let's go to the settings screen again so here this is the apps and notification icon is there so you can manage any app, app permission from this menu you can allow admin access to any app and this is our battery screen let me show you my battery uses so you can see i have played pubg mobile for 10 minutes and consume two percent of battery and my screen SOTS I have used for 2 hours and 13 minutes and consume 16% of the battery. So it's not bad. So generally you will get 4 and 4.5 and hours by in from this ROM. So big thanks to the developer again Akas, Nalbai, Sami and Eiffel from. So as soon as I get the link I will update in description screen. And I will soon get back with a new video review of Arrow 10 uh, ROM for our LE2 devices. Stay safe.